Thank you for your continued interest in the Riso Com Color Series. This is an introduction video to the Riso IS900C RIP. Regardless of whether you have a Com Color 9050 or a Com Color 3010, the Riso IS900C is the perfect companion to any of the models within the Com Color Series. Topics that will be discussed in this video are the specifications of the Riso IS900C, what a RIP is, and the benefits as well as the key features of the IS900C printer driver. In the next slide, we're going to show the key specifications of the Riso IS900C RIP. Notice that it's a true Adobe PostScript Level 3, that it has a built-in Intel Core 2 Duo processor, and it has 2 gigabytes of memory. In the next slide, you're, you're going to see on the left an image printed on the embedded GDI controller of the ComColor series. On the right, when adding the optional IS900C, you can see the image quality output of the IS900C. Notice on the left, you can see that there are little tiny jagged edges of the output of the GDI. On the right hand side you can see that the edges are much smoother. This is because of the enhanced output control that you get with the PostScript RIP. With the ComColor series as I mentioned you have the embedded GDI and then you have the option to add the PostScript RIP. Both of them work in conjunction with each other and all information is passed through the embedded GDI and then to the IS900C. And this is just an example of a .eps file. In the next slide, who really benefits from a PostScript RIP? Below is a list of users who are perfectly suited for the Riso IS900C. Whether you're a graphic intensive account using programs such as InDesign, Photoshop, Quark, just to name a few, Users with high monthly volumes, variable data printers, transactional and transformational printers. Those may be uh, printers that are using programs such as Objective Loon, Planner Press, Direct Smile. Mac users, uh, as we had included in our previous slide with the two different examples of output, users who want additional features and control over output. And also users who simply want faster processing power. Now we're going to discuss some of the key features of the printer driver of the IS900C. Under Properties, we're going to take a look at some of the tabs. You will see that they actually look like buttons, but they are actually also referred to as tabs. Under the Basic tab, you'll notice that you have your page size. You can drop down and there's a bunch of options that you can pick from. Of those options, uh, something noteworthy is just to point out that the number 10 10x13 and 9x12 are now standard. You can select your paper orientation, whether that be portrait or landscape. You can select your input tray. You can select your paper type. Keep in mind when selecting a paper type in here, that also um, indicates how many drops of ink you're, you're putting down. You can select your color output mode, whether that be auto, full color, black, cyan, magenta, etc. If equipped with a finisher, you can select your staple mode, your punch mode, etc. That's all found under the basic tab. Under the layout tab, if you are selecting uh, duplex for your print job, you can either turn that on or off. You can select long edge or short edge depending on the orientation of your paper. You can also select your output size. So for example, if you had a letter size document and you wanted to put that on a tabloid or 11 by 17, you could do that and then simply place a check mark here for scale to fit. Under imposition, one of the unique features within the driver is to select something like multi-op, which opens up the option for 2, 4, 8, and 16. The other unique feature under the IS900C printer driver is to the ability to rotate the image 180 degrees. All of these features and functions found under the layout tab. Under trays, 
You can select your input as well as your output tray. You can also do mixed size printing. So if you had a letter and a ledger size document, you would just place a check mark here. Under the finishing tab, again, if your comm color is equipped with a finisher, you can make all sorts of selections here with finishing side, staple, hole punch, booklet. Uh, so if you had a booklet and you wanted to put holes in that or uh, folding, you could do that. Um, there are a whole bunch of other things. You can add a cover, uh, front cover and back cover here for the finishing options. Image tab is one that uh, many users will go to on a regular basis to increase the image quality. Uh, you have your 300 by 300, 3 by 6, error diffusion versus dot screen. Uh, you can increase the lines per inch to whatever level you feel comfortable with line smoothing. You can turn that on or off. You can increase, uh, uh, you can increase the print density, adjust brightness and contrast. Under forms, if you have a form that is actually saved in the IS900, which is a unique feature um, with the IS900C, you can actually pre-prend and append uh, documents to lay over each other uh, that are actually stored on the IS900C. Under annota annotation, you can add a header and footer. You can decide what pages um, you want that to start and end with. Under shifting, you have a whole bunch of options here with the horizontal and vertical shift. And under workflow, this is another common tab that users will use where you can print, print and archive, etc. Um, you can also do a print and hold, print and pause. These are, are good features if you want to do a proof before printing. If you want to do secure printing, everything is about security these days. Um, if you wanted to with hide the job name uh, and also add a PIN code, you can go ahead and do that through the IS900C. You can jo do job splitting, job delegation, send email, whatnot. That's all found under the workflow tab. Also, there's the coloring tab. <coughs> this is more for advanced functionality of the IS900C. But there are actually quite a few color profiles that are already built into the IS900C, so you can actually select from those from that drop down menu. And those are basically uh, some of the key features and functions of the IS900C print driver that are, are fun and encouraged to be used.